start a recording here for this, so welcome YouTube. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We are playing a Modern League match right now. No, I don't want to verse Tron again. I want to get 50 play points here. So, we'll set up our screen again, because Moto changes it every time. We'll select a companion. Our opponent has not selected a companion. Oh, you want to verse Tron on Friday? Yeah, for you, that's a pretty good matchup. Alright, so we got one, two, three, four lands, which is fine, because we have a smallpox and an Inquisition and a Croxa, so we're good to go. Uh, we're waiting on our opponent to choose to play first. That's cool. We're going to keep this hand. Going to yield no plays. Oh, our opponent's playing this uh, Charbelcher deck again. And Charbelcher costs four, so we can't take it with Inquisition. Yep. Uh, what do we want to take? I think we want to take his pact here because we don't want to get interacted with if he tries to go off. Uh, yeah. I don't want the revealed card section that big, Moto. Okay, so he played. Uh, Shatter Skull. Uh, our turn. We have a funeral charm. That's kind of nice. Um, I think we're just going to Croxa here. Doesn't matter which order these triggers go. Our opponent discards a card. Discards a pyretic ritual. Cool. He's going to cast a Pyretic Ritual. Manamorphose to change it to green, I guess. Recross the paths. Yeah, sure. So what, just recross the paths, just let him order his library, I guess. I see how it works now. We lost to this deck the other day in this league. I'm just starting to understand how it works. The lands are all spells. And it plays Char Belcher. So when you look for lands, you just reveal the whole thing. And recross the paths. Uh, we'll put this swamp on the bottom of my library. And I think recross the paths is still in his hand. But I'm not certain anymore. So, we need to do some stuff here. We don't need... So we're going to start off with... Smallpox. We're going to discard the rack because we don't need two copies of it. We're going to sack our Herborg. We're going to play another Herborg. We're going to play another Herborg. We'll play out a Shrieking Affliction. I'm 
cast Reforge of the Soul, which does each player discards their hand then draws seven cards. Well, that was really good for me because I was almost out of cards, and now I got a Raven's Crime. And he fueled my Crocs. Uh, can he just go off, though? Is it stack right to go off? Yeah. Alright, so he reveals a ton of cards and kills us. Alright, alright. So, this is a spell-based combo deck, so Damping Sphere goes in. Um... Collective Brutality to duress his hand. Hulligan's Command's not good, it's too slow. And Grass Rampage doesn't do much. Um... Lightning Volt doesn't interact. I don't know if I bring Pillage in to try and destroy his lands. I think Pillage is better than Spell Bomb. What do you guys think? How's the sideboarding look? Bringing in damping spheres, two collective brutalities, two pillages. We're cutting Angrass Rampage, Colgan's Command, Lightning Bolts, and Spell Bombs. None of which seems to interact with a spell based combo. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I like it. Let's uh, let's go back to my thing and submit the list. Yeah, we're definitely playing first. We'll set our companion. Two damping spheres, one land. Huh. One thought sees. We have to mulligan. It's unfortunate. Well, this is really nice. We got a damping sphere still. Raven's Crime, Smallpox, Croxa, and Shrieking Affliction. Uh, we'll bottom Croxa. Croxa's good, but we just gotta get him with Damping Sphere and Shrieking Affliction and Raven's Crime. Another note I missed in the deck tech is that LaRousse can replay destroyed damping spheres. So that is, uh, that's a nice one. I'm just gonna fetch a swamp because I know he has blood moons. I uh, will Raven's Crime him. And you'll no possible plays. The good thing is all our opponents' lands are tap lands, so we can get to beating them down pretty quick. I think I'll just fetch up I'll fetch up Blood Crypt. out our sphere even though it might be a turn early but next turn we pretty much just lay the rest of our hand depending on what we draw definitely going to do some ravens criming I think we go again. I 
Oh, I can't because I put my damping sphere down. Right. Uh, I guess we'll play a land. And play Shrieking Affliction. The damping sphere works both ways, guys. It works both ways. That's fine. What's he gonna do? Nothing. That's cool. Uh, double smallpox. That's awkward, but I guess we discard smallpox. Keeps him down to three lands the next turn, which hopefully means he does nothing. Oh, he's run out of lands to play. Nice. Um, do we need a third land and play? No. What we need is a Raven's Crime. You'll do turn. Problem is with him not playing lands, he's kind of on the cusp of us not getting there with Shrieking Affliction. Now he's played a land. Uh, so we'll just target our opponent. Valakut Awakening enters the reveal cards. Uh, he's probably casting that next turn. And we'll pass through the turn and draw off Bobble on his upkeep. Another Shrieking Affliction. Not what we needed. Not what we needed. Metamorphose, fix some colors. I'm just going to yield through this turn. Simeon Spirit Guide, recross the paths. He reveals his library and resets it for next turn. If he has enough in his hand. But we have a stamping sphere in place. So I don't know how he sorts his library. Sorry guys, hold on a sec. I got somebody at the door for a local pickup. I'll just be right back. All right, interesting. We're still waiting on our opponent that whole time. They put one card on the bottom of their library with the clash. I want this thought season on top because I want to interact with their hand.
can't play as Charbelcher out with the Damping Sphere. Can he? I think we should... Hmm. This draws him more cards. This does damage and this resets his library. If he resets his library, that doesn't do anything, really. If he does this, he doesn't do as much damage. And if he does this, he potentially draws into a combo to win. Makes sense. Sorry about that uh, delay there. Somebody just came to pick up some cards locally. Uh, reforge the souls on top. Okay, so we reforge the soul for its miracle cost. That's fine. He's cast one spell this turn and I get a new hand. Uh, nature's claim. Destroy that artifact. Sure. step we're going to use this funeral charm and make him discard a card because we want to get cards out of his hand right now discard simian spirit guide um so you play urborg Inquisition and Brutality. Inquisition our opponent first. Dismiss his whole library. He's got Triple Mana Morphos, Pyretic Ritual. So I guess we should take the Mana Morphoses because those draw him into cards. And then we will Collective Brutality escalate with two modes target opponent target opponent pay two we can discard this blood crypt and we will take another metamorphose and now hopefully he can't kill us here is the key He's going to try with his Manamorphose. Yeah, so he gets a new card. So he has Pyretic Ritual and two unknown cards. He has Pyretic Ritual and two unknown cards. Pyretic Ritual and one unknown card. Empty the Warrens. Make some tokens. Sure. That's a little bad for us. A little bad for us. But he's at no cards in hand, so he's dead in a few turns. Um... I think we need to get LaRousse back. Or get LaRousse to get our Damping Sphere or our Mercia's Bobble back. And then there's no point in Inquisitioning him, so we'll pass the turn. So we're going to take eight. He's going to take three. We're going to take eight. But we've got a collective brutality to drain him two and gain two as well. So that changes the math. And we get LaRousse to give us lifelink as a blocker. So that changes the math too. He's going to return empty the warrants to his hand. But that's fine because we're just going to make him discard it. Sure, attack for eight.
cast a ruse. We'll cast Bobble. We'll Bobble our opponent. He's getting a Simeon Spirit Guide and he has a Desperate Ritual in hand. We'll Collective Brutality. Escalate to three modes. Take his card, kill a creature, gain and drain two. So we take empty the Warrens. He goes to six. He goes to three now. We're at 12, and he only has seven attackers. We have a lifelink blocker. We win this. And get to draw an extra card. He's dead mathematically. Good game. Good game. Alright, so... Our sideboard plans seem pretty good. Collective Brutalities came in clutch there for taking away some of his cards. Uh, Damping Sphere came in clutch. We didn't draw into pillage, but that's fine. We'll submit the deck. Alright, so we're on the draw. Let's check on Facebook and see the progress of our box breaks. Um, we're still waiting on our opponent, I guess. Alright, so our opponent mulligan to six. We want to keep our hand. Three lands, double ravens, crime, discard spells. The only thing we're missing is a rack effect, but we have seven racks and four crocs, so that's eleven things to draw to. Alright, yield no plays. What do we draw? So we're just going to Raven's Crime our opponent because we don't really care what they discard this turn. We'll Inquisition them next turn. Spike Field Hazard. That's basically just the land. Oh, they're doing something here. Pyretic Ritual. Simeon Spirit Guide. Play a Char Belcher. Okay, now we really need a Pillage. Or a way to take all the lands out of their hand. These are both lands. And spells. But I guess we can take both of them. And then if they don't draw a land, they can't kill us. But a lot of their decks lands, I think. They didn't draw land. Nice. 
Uh, so let's play out this land. Let's play out this rack. Let's thought seize our opponent. Take their card. And put a stop on their draw step. Now we got double funeral charm, so they can't land us for two turns. And this is why funeral charm is OP. Because if our opponent drew a land, which they did, they could have killed us, and now they can't. Okay, we just funeral charm our opponent again, and then we'll smallpox the turn after. Discard their Simeon Spirit Guide, yep. And now Smallpox gets rid of a land for them. Ooh, nice, we even draw a rack before it. Bam. Sack a land. We'll sack this mountain. And now they're down to one land. They can't try to build us, and they're dead in one turn. GG opponent. Because the rack deals four if you have one card in hand. And there we go. We got our 50 play points back at least from the league. Going two and three. Two and three. Not the best league we've done, but uh, we had some tight games. Had some tight games, so uh, that was good. Uh, for the video, I'm going to stop recording now. If you guys were watching on YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me some comments or below in the comment section.